Hey guys, it's Tilly and I'm finally back with another video. I have been pretty lousy at keeping up to date with them, but I'm back and with a video that I struggled really hard with because this is my top 10 YA book boyfriends slash girlfriends and there are just so many that I love, like completely and wholly, and I've had to narrow that down to just 10. And when I say 10, I mean 10 with a few exceptions because like there are some in the same series and there's some that I just had to include, so let's just get straight into it. Cricket from Lola and the Boy Next Door. This is the second book in the Anna and the French Kiss series by Stephanie Perkins. And I like kind of love all the love interests in those books, but to me, Cricket just rings out like extra because he is this like tall and lanky and awkward, adorable inventor who has like the most incredible fashion sense and wears socks and it's just generally adorable and cute and he's such a nice person and I just love him so much. So for those of you who have not read the Anna and the French Kiss series, um, it is pretty much a YA contemporary romance. Um, it is all like linked in a way, like the person who is like, the main character in this book knows the person who is the main character of the first book and it all kind of incorporates towards the very end um, and yeah it's just amazing and it's so good and if you guys want a really fluffy romance read them and just fall in love with the babies. This next one is from Divergent by Veronica Roth which is like a huge dystopia trilogy that you guys have probably heard about um, but my love interest in this book is not for or any of those other male characters that I can't remember but it is Yuria and I just love him so much that I want to spend my entire life just protecting him and so I would definitely make him my boyfriend so that I could just hold him and keep him safe forever and spoilers for those of you who have not read it just kind of block your ears or like you know don't listen which is why I'm rambling so you guys have time to when I wave you guys can unblock your ears my cousin read Allegiant before me and he told me that um, my little cinnamon roll dies in it and I actually like bawled my eyes out crying and I hadn't even thought of reading the book yet because like him <laughs> You're safe to unblock your ears. Uh, the next one is from another dystopia trilogy, and that is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. And um, although I love so many of the characters in this, from Thomas to Newt, my heart really belongs to Minho, which is how I pronounce his name, but the movie pronounced like Minu. But um, yes, he is my baby, my fast little running boy that I want to chase after for the rest of my life. Like, I would run through mazes with you all day if I had to. I would fight a griever for you, Minho. Um, and I just, yeah, I just want to protect you and love you because you're my favourite boyfriend. Next up is Clark from The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. This is a really cute summer romance contemporary fling book that's just absolutely fluffy and wonderful and there's dogs in it which makes it extremely great. But um, my book boyfriend from The Unexpected Everything is Clark and basically he's described as a nerdy superman who is a reader, a comic book lover, he's a writer, like a published huge writer and so like for me I think like realistically if I had to pick anyone to actually come and live with me in my life right now it would be Clark. Clark is a realistic boyfriend, that's the word that I'm looking for. Like these guys are amazing but I ain't gonna be going around and finding boys in mazes and shit, you know, like, I'm gonna be finding a boy who I accidentally stumbled into who happens to be a fantastic writer. Um, please just let this boy come into my life, book of gods. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this book boyfriend's name correctly, um, but I really struggled with this because I have a lot of people and characters that I love in the Throne of Glass series. Like Nehemia is high on my list, like I would marry her and make her my queen of everything forever. And I mean like Aileen is still pretty cool but I think that would be a really tough relationship to be in. Same with Rowan, like I feel like that would be so full on. But the character that I have fallen in love with, who I need to see more of in this entire series, oh my god I just forgot. There are two characters in this book that I love. And the first one is Manon. And once again, she would be absolutely crazy. Like, if I did something wrong in the relationship, she would probably kill me. But because she's so perfect, I think it's worth that. So this is, you know, 
part one of two. And secondly, I am in love with Aedion, and I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, whether it's Aedion or Aedion or whatever. But like, he is such a cinnamon roll, and I love him, and he's funny and cute and f perfect, and pretty much. There are too many perfect characters in your book, Sarah J. Moss. Stop it. But this is an awesome fantasy. This is the fourth one in the Throne of Glass series. Um, the next one, Empire of Storms, comes out in September. And I really hope to see more of my babies in that book. So, yeah, read it and rave about it with me. This is another fantasy. Most of these next ones are fantasy because I am a fantasy whore. And basically, I am in love with every character in fantasy books because they're so perfectly badass. But this one was really tough because there are two characters that I absolutely love, um, which are also the main characters. So you have Kestrel and you also have Aaron. Um, and if I had to pick and choose, I would probably pick my baby Aaron. I would, you know, I would definitely be like the pants in the relationship and I would just tell him what to do for his own safety because I am so sick of reading about this poor boy doing things that he thinks are for good and finding out that there are consequences. Like bad things happen to him and if he just listened to me as his girlfriend then he would be safe. But yeah, then there would be no book so I still love you. Once again we now have a joint one because I really could not pick who in this sort of series I would want, um, but these are two characters that I absolutely fell in love with. They're sassy, sarcastic, beautiful, brilliant, and just so amazingly written, and you can't really help but fall in love with them, and that is Rose Hathaway from Vampire Academy, who is like absolutely amazing. If you guys have watched the Vampire Academy movie, Zoe Dutch is like my biggest crush in the world after Kirsten Stewart. So yeah, it's kind of amazing. And also Adrian Ibishkoff, which I know I pronounced that wrong way because I don't know how to say it, but he's from Bloodlines and the Vampire Academy series and he is just like described to be the hottest person you could ever imagine in the world. <laughs> so like of course I have to love him. These are vampire based books. Um, they're good, they're funny, and like if you guys want to read some sort of supernatural with a bite, I would recommend these. Now we have the top three, and it's getting really hard, okay? A Darker Shade of Magic by B.E. Schwab, and this is really tough because there are like three characters in this book that I love, and I have to just pick one of them, and that's like super hard. So you have Wright, which is the main character who is Kel, who's also my number two, his brother. Um, and Lila Bard, who is like, <laughs> perfection. But if I had to pick, I would pick Kel, I think. I think I'd pick Kel. This is like an amazing fantasy. It is two out of the three books out so far, and like somehow it is just getting better and better. The second one ended on a huge cliffhanger that is kind of breaking my heart as I think about it. But if you guys want amazing characters with like a wonderful fantasy storyline with a kind of time travel, I guess, filled with just sarcasm, sass, and beauty and greatness and like amazing dialogue and like a fun action packed storyline, then you guys need to pick this up because there are like three amazing babies in it that you will fall in love with. Once again, Sarah J. Mars has made the list. As I said when I was talking about, uh, Queen of Shadows, Sarah J Maas has the habit of writing amazing characters that you cannot help but fall in love with. Which in A Court of Thorn and Roses, which is the first book um, in that series, she wrote so many that you love. Like even I have a crush on Feyre and her sister Nesta and like Lucian and you know even a pretty amazing crush on Amarantha who is like the evil person in that. But my biggest crush so far from the series comes into it in A Court of Mist and Fury and I can't remember if she was in the first one or not, but either way, it is Morrigan. And like, I just have her on this pedestal above everybody else and I'm not sure like if it's just me, but when I read these books, like, yeah, I get a bit of background about Morrigan, but like, her story in my head has just it's exploded, like off the pages. Like I can just picture her like, you know, going to the kitchen to get something to eat and just being amazing. Like I can just imagine that and just the way that she'd walk and the way that she would eat her apple and the way that she talks. And if that isn't love, then I don't know what is, okay? Cause she is like, my girl, my girl. 
So once again, this is another uh, fantasy book. Uh, this is more of an adult fantasy. Um, basically, this book here is probably going to be my favourite of the year. I wasn't a huge fan of Court and Thorn and Roses, but I did pick this one up and read it, and I honestly cannot believe how perfect it was. Sarah J Maas's writing is improving with every book that she writes, and this was just hands down amazing. And are we ready for my number one? Book Girlfriends. Okay, so I don't actually have like the first book in the series here, but it is here in my heart. And my complete like favorite person out of all the books that I have ever read that makes me so emotional because I love her so much, and that is Isabel Lightwood from the City of Bones, uh, the Mortal Instrument series, and she's just so perfect and like for a moment please like let's just appreciate that she's perfect not only in the books but also the TV show and she is just like Morrigan to me and I picture her doing everything in her life like she could be you know dancing at a club and I would just you know imagine this and just buy her a drink and tell her that I love her like if I ever met this book character like if she just jumped out of the pages at me I would be the biggest blubbering mess that you have ever seen and I would also probably get on my knees and propose to her right then and there because Isabel Lightwood is the most perfect sassy beautiful smart and incredible person character that I have ever read about in my life and I just need her to be real for me to be happy all other relationship goals, anyone who ever like has a crush on me, if you aren't Isabel Lightwood, I'm so sorry that this isn't gonna work. So there you have my uh, top 10 book boyfriends slash girlfriends. Um, thanks for coming on this emotional journey with me. Um, there's a lot of love here. A lot of love for a lot of great characters. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Uh, let me know who your favorite book boyfriend slash girlfriend is down below. And if you guys want to fangirl with me about any of these books, feel free to, because I'm in like fangirl mode. Like, I'm so full of love right now. I just want to share the love. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you again soon. And thank you again for bearing with me during that emotional roller coaster. Bye.